Equatorial Guinea by Mamadou Alpha Diallo. My name is Mamadou Alpha Diallo. I live in Bada, Equatorial Guinea. My country is small, but it's doing very well for its size. In comparison to South Africa, Equatorial Guinea has more money per square mile. My country has a low crime rate, which makes it good for tourism and helps the country get money. When I was younger, my parents used to take my brother and I to Monte Allen National Park. When we were there, my mom used to always tell me about the animals. She used to tell me their names and why they are important to our country. After my father died trying to protect President Obian from gunmen, I had to get a job to support my family. I got a job fishing with an old man. Now I work in the market. I sell what the fishermen bring back and what my mom makes at home. Once my brother is old enough to work, I hope to give him my little shop in Bata and go to college. If I finish college, I want to come back and help lead my country to greatness. One of my major hopes is to meet President Obian and ask him what it's like to lead a country. If I were the president of my country, I would try to get the people who don't share in the wealth of my country some money. My country has 183 miles of coast. It also has 10,800 square miles of land. As such a small country, we mainly rely on the oil industry for most of our money. Equatorial Guinea also has good tourism since the crime rate is low and the wildlife is fairly untouched. The traditional food of my country includes sweet potatoes and mangoes, as well as yams and bananas. More modern food includes fish on rice with gravy on top and donuts. My country has a lot of money, but the money isn't being distributed to everyone in the country. Most people are living in shacks and don't have running water or a constant source of food. If the government would spread the money around Equatorial Guinea, it could be great, but at its current state, it's not. Current president, President Obian, has been president for over 30 years now. There's a lot of controversy about how he and his family are using the money that the country has. There's also some controversy about how when the Arab Spring was going on, he tried to keep his country unaware of it. Many people think he did this and fear that the same thing might happen to Equatorial Guinea and that he would lose his power. As you've seen and heard, Equatorial Guinea is very small, but it's one of the most oil-producing countries in the world. Equatorial Guinea has cities, but at the same time, it's mostly made up of jungles and forests. My country has a lot of great sights to see. My country has some of the best beaches in Africa. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned a lot about my country.